the question will be who now succeeds Boris Johnson? We have some names and I'll try and tell you and put it forth about what does it mean? Because remember, as we have been discussing and mentioning on top, as it appears right now, will be Liz Truss. She's serving Foreign Secretary of the UK, has been close to Boris Johnson, importantly served as UK International Trade Secretary, and that perhaps, with given the trade deals, not with India, but also with other countries, could be an important role. And the one duty and role that she played was with regard to Brexit that did benefit Boris Johnson as well. Favourite of the ruling Conservative Party for now, and uh, after Theresa May, Margaret Thatcher, could we be looking at Liz Truss? But here comes Rishi Sunak, former Finance Minister of UK. Now, a young politician, but did get a lot of praise for UK economy rescue package, and that specifically during the COVID pandemic, where he had to bring in a lot of concessions and packages. But he was also criticised for breaking the lockdown rules. Why is he important? Remember, he's the son-in-law of Infosys co-founder Narayan Murthy, has Indian origins. So many Indians, perhaps, may want him now to become UK Prime Minister. What next? Sajid Javid, uh, Pakistani origin, former UK Health Secretary, former banker and also son of Pakistani immigrant parents. And therefore, that also with him also having been in London, managed the administration there, has a lot of experience. Jeremy Hunt, UK's former foreign secretary, finished second, in fact, to Johnson in 2019 when he became the prime minister. And therefore, he also is a close contender. There are many more as well. But the question remains, with Boris Johnson accepting defeat today at 10 Downing Street, what were the possible reasons? Because it was not just right now. There have been many scandals that did surround Boris Johnson as his tenure as a Prime Minister since 2019. Take a look now at some of these controversies that Boris Johnson was surrounded with. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. When did things start to unravel for Boris Johnson? He was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. He's lied to the British public. He's lied to Parliament. Boris Johnson, the party is over. And he must resign. From sleaze scandal to lockdown parties, recent events have badly tarnished the leadership credentials of Britain's Prime Minister. This timeline tracks some of the missteps and controversies that got him to this point. In November, The Mirror publishes the first of many media reports about Christmas parties taking place in government offices, including Johnson's own Downing Street office, in December 2020. It was a Christmas party thrown in Downing Street for dozens of people on December the 18th. At that time, such gatherings were banned because of a coronavirus lockdown. In fact, this was the PM's message to the public. Given the early evidence we have on this new variant of the virus, the potential risk it poses, uh, it is with a very heavy heart, I must tell you, we cannot continue with Christmas as planned. In December, Johnson told journalists that no lockdown restrictions were broken. Hours later, a leaked video emerged showing his staff laughing and joking over how to explain a gathering in Downing Street. The next day, Johnson apologised and his then press secretary resigned. The British people have made immense sacrifices in the ongoing battle against COVID-19. I now fear that my comments in the leaked video of the 20th of December last year have become a distraction in that fight. I was also furious to see that clip. And Mr Speaker, I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country and I apologise for the impression that it gives. On December the 9th, Johnson's party, the Conservatives, are fined $23,500 by the electoral watchdog for failing to accurately report a donation that helped fund the refurbishment of the Prime Minister's official residence. Several days later, on December the 14th, more than 100 of Johnson's Conservative lawmakers voted against his new coronavirus restrictions, dealing a blow to his authority and raising more questions about his leadership. On December the 19th, more controversy. This time, a photo of Johnson and more than a dozen other people drinking wine in the garden of his Downing Street residence, taken during the first COVID-19 lockdown in May 2020. At that time, this was the government's message to the public on gatherings. You must obey the rules on social distancing. And to enforce those rules, 
we will increase the fines for the small minority who break them. In January, broadcaster ITV publishes a leaked email from Johnson's private secretary inviting more than 100 people to a, quote, bring your own booze party in the garden of Downing Street in May 2020. ITV says Johnson and his partner Carrie were among the 40 or so people who attended. Mr. Speaker, I want to apologise. When I went into that garden just after six on the 20th of May 2020 to thank groups of staff before going back into my office 25 minutes later to continue working, I believed implicitly that this was a work event. He's finally been forced to admit what everyone knew, that when the whole country was locked down, he was hosting boozy parties in Downing Street. Yes. Is he now going to do the decent thing and resign? Yes.